So now, what we've done in the last few, or the, the earlier section of this textbook, is we've looked at two-dimensional force systems. Now we want to move into the, the real world, and we want to look at three-dimensional force systems. So we're going to cover pretty much exactly the same things that we did in section B uh, on two-dimensional force systems, but we're just going to apply it now and look at it in three dimensions. So let's start off with rectangular components. Remember that we can have a force and then we can we can decompose it or we can calculate its components in the x, y and z directions. Okay. These are called your rectangular components, fx, fy and fz. Okay. And how do we calculate them? Well, we use the direction cosines. We say the magnitude of f times the cos of the angle between the force and the axis. So theta x is the angle between the force and the x-axis. Theta y between the force and the y-axis. Theta z force and the z-axis. So we can get our fx, fy, fz using this, these three uh, formulas. We can still get our magnitude of f and then we take our results and we can write it in vector form. F vector is the fx component times i. i is the unit vector, remember? i unit vector. Simply the vector pointing in the x direction with a magnitude of 1. And j and k, we can write out our force in vector form. Now note that this we can also rewrite this as this so f cos theta x was your fx or is fx similarly fy is f cos theta y and fz okay so we can take this and further rewrite it like this okay like this where L, M, and N are just given by cos theta x, cos theta y, and cos theta z. And you'll notice that this over here is simply your unit vector pointing in the direction of F. So remember, unit vector is a vector with a magnitude of 1. What is its purpose? Its purpose is simply to give a magnitude, a magnitude, it gives it a direction, and in a sense it converts it into a vector. So this f vector here is equal to the magnitude of f, which you calculate like that, times by the unit vector that points in the direction of that force. So it ends off by saying the scalar components of the unit vector, the scalar components, right, L, M, and N, those are the scalar components of the unit vector, are just simply the direction cosines, cos theta x, cos theta y, cos theta z. Okay? Alright, I think that's enough for this one. See you in the next one.